Okay guys, welcome back. Okay, this is part two of the beautiful race Clio build. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened since our last video. If you haven't seen that already, link up here somewhere or that little tab thing that goes whoosh. Just click on it and check it out. You'll be all up to date. One thing I want to mention is this isn't going to be like a complete guide where you follow us along and just literally see us fit absolutely everything because we're on such a tight schedule. I think we're now down to about 25 days and that's still a really... 20 days. A bit crazy when you think about it because we also have to get this car through an MOT and there's a, quite a bit left to do. So we're at a bit of a push. So what I want to do with this sort of playlist and video is I want to keep you guys updated on everything that we've got already done and the things that we're planning on doing. Just a bit like the last video, I'll show you the slides and then we'll go straight into sort of a uppy closey type of thing. And you guys get to sort of follow us along and see where we're at with it and eventually we'll end up at the show and woof, hopefully this thing's going to fly. Are we doing drag? Second. Yeah, I said we're going to drag this. We'll probably get one drag out of it because I think you kind of have to do it. And then really, we're going to put this through the circuit. So the circuit, you'll see it when we eventually get there. It's like all about like twists and turns and tight little spaces. It's going to be really fun to watch. Hopefully I'll be able to get somewhere near the track and we can use the gimbal and stuff and really get some solid footage. And the best thing is it's going to look like a race car, which if I'm honest, Clio's really do pull off that race car-y feel. You'll have seen videos on YouTube before, like something like this. Killer. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you a list again of the things that we've done and the things we still have left to achieve. So now straight into it, the list of what we've done and the things that we need to do. Number one, we've fitted a roll cage. We've painted the inside. We've also fitted Perspex windows. Oh, sexy. We fit the dashboard. We've got the turn one steering wheel and boss. Huge front bumper brake ducts. They look sexy as hell. And the front bumper where the fog lights would be, I'm going to show you in the video, but whoo, they look smooth. We've also fitted a rear strut brace. And we've also fitted the rear carbon fiber door cards, which are just, oh, a next level race car feel. But I mean, they look pretty smart. I'm going to show you. And as well, there's a few little carbon bits like the headlight washer bungs and things like that. But you just, you got to have that look and feel. But what I need to do now is just tell you guys about the things we still have left to do. And believe me, there is a list. So, front mounted cooling fan. Fabricate the seat mount. Fit the harnesses. Fix the bleed nipple. Exhaust mount. Give it a whole service. And we need to polish the headlights. They've gone all horrible and yellow. I'm going to make a separate video about that as well. Because the way that people tell you to do it. And I think the way that actually works is completely different. So that's going to make a good episode. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. That. We need to paint the front doors and then fit the carbon door skins, fit the toe strap, fit the internal door handles, reroute the window switches, fit the aero catches on the bonnet. We need to fit a heel plate for the driver. There's still a lot to do, and obviously we still need to give it that MOT, which is gonna be a oh it's gonna be an effort, but hopefully we'll do this all right and make it as easy as possible. So rather than just keep make this a really long video and tell you absolutely everything, I'm gonna just flip the camera around to give you the sort of close-up video and show you what we've done. <laughs> Castle. The roll cage for one was an absolute nightmare. Plus, everything else, the little minute details, including the wiring, that just takes over your life and oh, it's awful. You can hear it running in the background, it no longer cuts out anymore, which is a bonus. So, what I want to do is just say a big thank you to everyone who's watching. Sorry about the lighting right now, it's a little bit difficult to do. It's absolutely killer in the UK at the moment, which is unbelievably crazy. Thank you for everyone who's liked the video, subscribed. And if you haven't already subscribed, maybe check it out. Check the other videos in the channel if you haven't already. Smash that like button. Already subscribe if that's something that you're into. I mean, we'd appreciate it hugely. As soon as we hit that 2,000 mark, we're going to do a giveaway, which is oh, going to be so sweet. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Crunch. Just let us know.